Well, they got him picked off, but he keeps on going. Throws off line, and he's safe. Unbelievable. Trey Turner gets a stolen base. Hey there, Coach Riz here, and today I'd like to talk about stealing on first movement. First movement is a base stealing strategy used specifically against left-handed pitchers that have good moves to first base that typically involve a high leg kick, which makes them slow to deliver the baseball either to first base in a pickoff attempt or to the plate. To properly execute a first movement attempt, the base runner should take a normal lead off of first base. He should align himself with the back corner of first base and then run in a straight line to the back corner of second base. He should focus on the pitcher's front foot and as soon as the pitcher lifts it, the base runner should explode towards second base attempting to get up to speed as fast as possible. It's important to understand the runner is attempting to steal second regardless whether the pitcher delivers a pitch to the plate or a throw over to first base. However, the base runner's strategy to accomplish this changes when the pitcher throws to first base, so the runner needs to peek at one or two steps to see where the ball is going. If it is pitched, the runner continues on his normal stolen base attempt to the back corner of second base. However, if the pitcher throws to first, the runner needs to make some crucial adjustments to his path to second base. First, the runner needs to determine the positioning of the first baseman. Usually, he is inside, but occasionally the pickoff attempt will pull the first baseman to the outside. Second, the base runner needs to determine who will be covering second base. Now the base runner needs to, while still advancing to second base, attempt to position himself in the throwing lane between the first baseman and whomever is covering second. The way the runner should do this is by matching the positioning of the first baseman. So if he is inside, then the base runner needs to move inside near the grass. Once he is in the way, the runner now should run at the glove of the second base receiver. So let's pause for a second and discuss the established baseline rule, since I consistently see a lot of players, coaches, and occasionally even umpires that don't understand the rule. The most important thing to understand about the base path is that there is no such thing as a base path until a fielder with the ball attempts to tag the runner. Returning to the play, once the runner has positioned himself in the throwing lane, he needs to anticipate several possible plays at second. If the runner is easily going to beat the throw, like Turner is in this example, then he should just slide straight into the base. If it is going to be a close play, then hopefully the base runner has positioned himself in such a manner as to have forced the throw to go somewhat wider than it would normally, thus giving him access to either the inside or outside corner of the bag. Occasionally, the throw will hit the runner. If that occurs, the runner's first priority is to get safely to second base. His next priority, however, is to take advantage of the error and advance to third if possible. Sometimes the defense will execute their defense perfectly and the ball will easily beat the base runner into second base like in this example with Baez. The runner goes, the pickoff throw, and now the throw to second and Baez is tagged out. Baez thought he got in there. Notice his path which goes several steps into the infield grass and forces the shortstop several feet to the inside of the base, which is the perfect setup for a base runner to perform a swim move head first slide. This slide is not nearly as difficult to execute as it appears and I will be covering it in a future video which I will link once it's completed. Understanding how to properly execute a first movement stolen base along with when and why the technique should be used will give teams and players another tool in their base stealing toolbox. Hopefully you found this explanation of first movement stolen base attempts useful. If you were taught something different, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. If you'd like to support the channel, please check the description for links to my Patreon and other links of more content. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.